It is an absolutely miserable day outside. Raining, windy, just horrible. Not the kind of day that you want to be spending in the garden, really. But a lot of people, including myself, have started gardens in the winter and also in the autumn. And there's a lot of things that I've done in my own garden to get it started for spring well before the first green sprouts are visible. And I wanted to share some of the things that I've done to get my allotment garden into the shape that it is right now. So this is a completely new uh, plot for me. So I started at uh, the Laxi allotment with a completely different plot. And I'd been working that for years, but it was at the bottom of the hill. So I, I took over a plot at the top of the hill when that became available. And it was a little bit fallow. There were th some things growing on it, but one of the very first things that I did was to suppress the weeds. And I did that using black plastic. And if you're taking over uh, an existing allotment plot that's a bit overgrown or you're starting off brand new, I can highly recommend just laying black plastic over the grass and the weeds and just leaving it there for a couple of months or over the winter, the summer and winter. And by the time that you're ready to start planting and, and cultivating the soil, most of the plants, most of the grass and the weeds have died down. And the only thing that you'll really find underneath is bare soil and then the perennial weeds like dock that are much more hardy and will survive a bit longer if under black plastic. And that has saved me so much time and effort in creating a garden and a work in the soil by myself. You know, if I wanted to dig the entire thing, it would have been a lot more backbreaking and just letting time and the UV resistant black plastic just do the, do the work for me, it saved a lot of time. So I started off my plot by doing that first. And then I cultivated a bit, grew a few things. I experimented with some straw mulch, which was a terrible idea. There were so many slugs. Um, but then I moved on this last year with creating raised beds, using composted manure as, as a mulch and as a soil supplement, and also creating paths. So that has saved so much time and effort as well in actually um, maintaining my plot because, you know, it's one thing to keep your beds weeded and your vegetables weeded and to focus your attention on that. But when you're also dealing with overgrown pathways that you have to strim or weed, then it's even more work. So last February, I actually put down some horticultural material on the ground and then covered it with uh, wood chips that we got for free at the allotment and it has been probably the best idea for creating a plot that I've actually used because even when I've been away on holiday so last last summer I was in Portugal for a month came back and the paths were virtually cleared whereas in the past if I would have been away for even a couple of weeks I would have gotten back and it would have just been a nightmare so I would highly recommend putting in wood chip paths. And the other thing is, is that you can often get wood chips for free. So if you've got a tree surgeon in the area, they'll often either sell it very inexpensively or give it free because it's just a waste material for them. And in fact, we have a very generous tree surgeon in Laxey who just regularly just dumps off wood chips for us because we use them for our paths, etc. Another thing that I started doing last year, and which I will continue to do this year now that I have more material, is you prune your raspberries, your autumn fruiting raspberries in the winter time. And normally what happens to the canes is it's either burned or composted or uh, gotten, gotten rid of in some way. And I was looking at these canes for a while and I had them in a stack and then I, I decided I'm gonna try using them as a material in the garden. And last February, I started putting in some wattle edging in the allotment and it looks so pretty. And I don't think that I'd seen it before. I mean, I'd seen it uh, wattle edging and wattle features made with willow and hazel, but never with raspberry uh, prunings. And uh, it actually has held up as well. I, th I think a lot of people might think, hmm, you know, after a season or so, you know, it, it probably wouldn't have that longevity, but it looks really great. And I will continue edging my beds in that. So if you are pruning raspberries about now, which a lot of people will be doing, keep those prunings 
and create some, some garden edging with that. Another thing that I put into my allotment around this time last year was a small pond. And actually the, the kind of the, the tail end of winter is an ideal time to put in a, a water feature like a pond because you are preparing it for spring, you, you, know, you don't have very much to do in the allotment or in the garden at this time of the year. So you can dedicate it to putting in features like that. And all it involved was digging out a hole, I lined it, um, so I put down some fleece first and then the actual pond lining and then weighed it down a little bit, filled it with water, edged it with rocks and it has attracted so much wildlife to my garden this year or last year rather, which is fantastic because that was the intention as well is to create a haven, a place for insects and birds to come in and have a drink and also to try to attract frogs and I was successful last year in attracting a frog and I had some tadpoles in my pond as well and frogs are excellent eaters of slugs so I'm hoping that even more frogs make my my small garden pond their home this year fingers crossed because here in Britain Isle of Man so many slugs. It is the number one pest in my uh, allotment garden, other than the New Zealand flatworms, of course. Another thing that I did recently um, was put in some supports for my, my thornless blackberries. And projects like this are great this time of the year. I mean, it's rainy outside, but it isn't, it isn't too cold or snowy. And if you have kind of the same climate or it's a little bit further into the winter for you and, and you're looking for some things to do, putting in kind of permanent features like supports and pathways and uh, edging and things like that. This is what you can do to prepare for spring because you know when spring starts rolling around, you're not gonna have time to do it. So in any case, I wanted to share a few ideas with you and I've put some links in the, in the video description. So if you wanna check out how I did everything, do head over there and um, if you've got any questions or comments just leave them as a comment below so thanks so much for watching and uh, i hope that you have a little bit better weather than we do today and that you can get out into your garden sometime soon so i'll see you next week and uh, thanks so much